Hi, Trina. Um, this is going to be your second time participating in the World Senior Masters. How much are you looking forward to it? Yes, I'm look I am looking forward to it. I love these events. So, um, you know, they're, they're good fun and uh, great crowds there as well, you know. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. You're going to open the uh, Senior Masters against Chris Mason as well. Um, how much are you excited to be playing at the new the, the new home at, in Yeovil? Yeah, I never played there before. So, um, you know, uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. So I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm sure it'll be a great setup as um, previous events have been. Um, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing against Chris. That should be an entertaining match. Um, and, and like you say, first on. So hopefully we'll we'll put on a good show for everyone. And finally from me, you pushed Martin Adams at the recent Champion of Champions in Blackpool. Um, does that give you confidence coming into this event? Yeah, it does. It does give me confidence. And, you know, I was pleased how I played against Martin. Um, you know, uh, I dwindled a bit at the um, at the last last few legs. And, uh, you know, I need to um, be a bit more prepared to uh, um, step up and, and get over the line, so to speak. So, yes, I'm looking forward to that. And, yeah, it has filled me with a bit of confidence, Jess. Thank you, Trina. Good luck for you, Bill. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Trina. Um, the last time we saw you on the senior stage, there were quite Thanks. emotional scenes as you were presented with the World Championship trophy by one of the sponsors, LP Metal Detecting. Um, what was that like for you being gifted with a trophy that you won 10 times? Well, it was absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe it. It was such a, a fantastic gesture and I had no clue at all. Um, and uh, I think you could see that if you play the play it back I was in total shot I almost stepped back from it and was starting to run off stage but <laughs> it's um yeah it's an absolutely amazing amazing thing to do and uh, I'm so grateful for it and I'm actually looking at it now so the trophy is on on the mountain piece now yeah I was going to say where is the, the trophy taking pride of place in, in the living room there amongst your others yeah it has it is it's there it's straight ahead of me and um yeah it's there and uh, I keep polishing it every now and again <laughs> and we saw you competing in the, the Moda Super Series recently. How much has that helped with your match sharpness, playing lots of games against high quality opposition going into this? Yeah, I enjoy that. I enjoy doing the Moda Super Series as well. You know, that's uh, that's good. Um, I didn't play too well this time, um, so I, you know, I'm having to put some extra practice in and, and sharpen up my game. But um, but yes, it's it's a good it's a good uh, practice session for me and. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to produce some good darts. And in terms of the women's game at the moment, it seems to be absolutely thriving, you know, with the PDC Women's Series especially. How far has the women's game come, in your opinion, in recent years? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, the PDC have given us a, a good uh, foot in and, um, you know, a good, uh, a, a good platform to uh, work on. And, uh, yeah, it's great. You know, I love, I love the, the PDC Women's Series. It's great. And... Um, there's a lot of talent coming through, you know, at the moment it's being dominated by Bo um, and you've got Lisa and Fallon obviously as well. Makuru had a good time last time. So, um, yeah, it's, it's it's great, you know, and, and anything that's uh, positive for ladies' darts is brilliant. Yeah, just on board, she's been a, a phenomenon since she broke through, as you mentioned there. How good is she, in your opinion, and how good could she still be? Well, I, well, it speaks for itself, you know. Um, her performances have been uh, outstanding, you know, with the, um, 100 averages consistently. Um, and, yeah, it's, I mean, she's phenomenal at the moment. Nobody seems to be able to touch her or get close, but um, she's dominating it. And, um, you know, uh, you've got to be you've got to be well on your game to, uh, to beat her. And I think she can go from strength to strength as well. Are you slightly concerned that she could challenge for your tally of, of 10 world titles in the future? Well, you know, records are there to be broken, so uh, good luck to her on that one. And just finally, from me on the game against Chris Mason, what are you expecting from Chris? Obviously, he's, he's relatively local, West Country guy himself. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it'll be interesting. Um, I've already told him I'm going to beat him. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, he didn't really respond to that, to be fair. I don't know, you <laughs> know. I think he's a bit worried. We'll see. If it, if it goes anything like um, against Martin, then, uh, you know, if I play like that, then I've got every chance. Mm -hmm.